I've seen a club that has always been at the front of winning. It's been such a big part of the DNA. I think winning is and should always be a core part of the DNA. And that's one thing I think that separated Chelsea as a London club. My name is Emma Hayes. I am the manager of Chelsea Women. So you've been the manager for 12 years, right? Yeah. Is that right? Um, what would you say about Chelsea after all this? Time? Oh, wow. What would I say about Chelsea? I mean, it's become such a big part of me, my identity. Mm -hmm. So I've seen it from all different angles and probably in all different places. It's evolved a lot. I think you're coming into this beautiful space. You get to do something you love doing every day. But ultimately, the, these are people I will go to war for and vice versa. The values that the players have translate really, really well in terms of the, the fans who support this game. They are diverse, they are an inclusive team, they represent something more than just being elite athletes, which they absolutely are. You know, they have a drive and a will to win that I haven't seen any, I think, anyone who's worked in sport who has a team that they can keep winning year on year and year, irrespective of the personnel, that is something that is really, really inspirational. I love the people, I love um, the match day excitement, I love um, our philosophy and how we look after our team and our players. I think there's a lot of pride in um, the way that people work at Chelsea. Not a single day is the same. Players in and out, injuries, different tactics. With the experience, you kind of learn that this is how it is. Daily changes. You know, we could have a schedule and all of a sudden, pitches are frozen. We prepared to play with a certain group of players and then one gets injured or sick. I think as players, we're so used to last minute changes because that is the world of football. You might plan a holiday, you can't, there's a game there the schedule changes, so I think it's something that we are used to and on some levels it's bigger than others, um, but it is part and parcel of, of being an elite athlete and being in this environment. I think on this level you deal with a lot of different changes uh, on a daily basis. I think both uh, on and off the pitch, uh, players coming in, players leaving. I think we're a bunch of optimistic people who sees a change as an opportunity to find something new, to, to find new uh, dimension of our game or our own abilities as individuals. I can, I can only speak for myself, like when there's a change, I always see that as an opportunity to explore something new. When we first found out, big shock, I think, to the team. Emma's been in the club for such a long time. She's such an important piece in the whole Chelsea environment. But then you receive the news, and then you find ways, OK, she's still here. We still have a couple of months left together. Stay present. What can we control in this 
moment and how can we do the best out of the situation. It's interesting. It's like I said, we talked about changes and, and this happens in football. Chelsea's been lucky because we've had her for such a long time and now someone else needs to come in and fulfill that job in the way, the best way they can. It's going to be different. Um, and, you know, they got to do it their way. Yes, we'll miss Emma with all of our hearts. Yes, we'll look on with pride with whatever she accomplishes in her next role, but, you know, we've we've got some really good foundations for the future and, and it's about building on those rather than kind of looking back with, with any regrets. As always with the change, it takes time. Um, I think it's important for growth of any human being. I think it's healthy to grow and evolve and be challenged with something else. Being able to adapt is critical. What are your what are your hopes for Chelsea in kind of this new era? To continue winning, I think that is the fundamentals of being a Chelsea player and representing is to lift silverware. So we want that that legacy to continue, keep making change, and to be a force within the the women's footballing world. Win, win, win.